Leander from Capex. Today we are here to show you exactly how to how to waste the, our cream pristine and how to decorate using it. And uh, we are here to answer any questions that are arising. You Decker, welcome. Welcome. Uh, thank thank you. you. Today we are using Melit uh, mixer. 5.5 liters, you can get it from Sopra. Now we are starting off uh, to do our whisky. The, the, whisky, whisky the, the cream, we have got it from the fridge direct. It has to be filled uh, for overnight for a minimum of six hours. So we're gonna start off, uh, we open our, our cream. Now you first make sure it is in liquid form, check it well, check it well, and then you open it and make sure it is uh, well filled. And all the instructions for for the storage for sweeping are on the label. As you can see, they are well declared on the label. So we start off. It should be chilled between seven to ten degrees. As we sweep, please answer any. You can uh, ask any question that we can be able to answer. So when you are doing the uh, the whiskey, make sure if at all your bowl is 5.5 liters, you don't have to pour all the whipping cream, the one liter, on the bowl. Make sure the bowl, if at all it is 5.5 liters, you don't have to pour the whole of it because yeah, if no, you no, pour the whole of it, you need to get space for the whipping cream to increase its volume. So you are supposed to pour 20% of the of the one liter into your bowl depending on the size of your bowl so we start off now when you are pouring you need to check on the consistency of your cream because it is supposed to be in liquid form if you have you find in a curdled cream make sure you don't use it it should not be used when it is it should not be used when it is cardboard. So we start off, we have put our cream in the mixer. So we start off to whip. We have put just a percentage of our packet. So we have done a uh, halfway. So 500 grams of this. Of the whip. So we start off when you are whipping the cream, you start with the low, low speed. Then, uh, after the foaming has stopped, then you go up to the medium speed. Never use high speed. So we start off with the low speed. That's the lowest speed of the mixer. So you whip it uh, like two minutes and then you go to medium speed until you get the light consistency that you want yes okay. Okay. the quality hasn't changed and we are going to prove it uh, when you are whipping that the quality hasn't changed what we did uh, there was grading of the of the whipping cream from the original up to now the one that we get, uh, the one that we are whipping, it, the quality didn't change. It, what changes is only the blood, the pack. So you whip like two minutes, then you go to the medium speed. Depending on your mixer, the medium speed a, like now this one has a speed of from 1 to 10 and the lower speed is 1 so the medium speed should not go beyond 6 to degree speed 6 
Él le cuesta, él le cuesta el PRI, el dos de agua chinga. From from many different places. From? From many? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, there are reasons for, for alarm behavior cream. One is, if you whip a very cold cream, that is, it is stored beyond 10 degrees, beyond 7 degrees, that is, that is like 2 degrees. You need to, to keep it for some time for it to reduce, increase in temperature up to a uh, place where you feel it is uh, like 7 degrees, it is between 7 to 10 degrees. So that when you whip it, it might run, it might, might become runny, or you whip it for a very long time. Or maybe probably you are exposed to your whipping cream to high temperature. It will also become runny when you are whipping it. I hope you have answered your question. Thank you. Thank you. So we go to medium speed. The reason for low volume is maybe probably you are using you are using high you are using high speed to whip your cream. What normally happens when you use high speed, the cream will stabilize very fast without without increasing volume, meaning you achieve very low volume when you use high speed to whip your cream. So I've answered your question. Mm -hmm. So we are on a uh, medium speed. Yeah. So up to speed seven, six, seven. So you whip until you achieve a soft pitch, such that when you open up your mix, you are able to lift your, the whipping cream without dropping back to the mix, the mixer. So you get a very sharp, very sharp pitch, that is. Any question, please? Any question, any other question? How long does it take to whip it? The time depends on the mixer that you are using. Uh -huh. Depends on the type of whip you are using. If your whip is has more, it is more, more, it is space, it will take a longer time. Mm -hmm. If your whip is more closer, that is that the 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 the, the, pit, the whipping, the whipping, the whip itself has uh, it's more closer in, in terms of. When you are whipping, you are able to go into more rounds. More rounds when you are whipping. Okay. Yeah. So it depends on the mixer you are using. So we don't guarantee if you are using a different mixer. If you are doing, maybe yeah. probably you are doing more than a one liter of your cream, or you are doing so many liters, depending on the mixer you are using. So it doesn't have an average time. No, the most depends on the mixer. Most, mostly, the average is eight minutes. Eight minutes. Yes. Right. Yes. So, as you can see, the cream is still stabilizing. So, it depends on the consistency that you want. So, you need to be checking. Yes. On the consistency, as you can see, 
So we, know, we, we need to, to check whether we have achieved the constituency that we want. So we, we check with the with the whisk that you are using to mix the bread the heat you know. So you can see we have used for less than six minutes. So it's perfect. Yes, fluffy, stable, and you can see the volume of it. Yes. Yes. And for you to know that our cream is ready, most probably you look at the fluffiness of the cream and uh, make sure that uh, when at least you remove out your whisk, eh, it brings a sharp peak like this. Eh? This one will tell you that our cream is ready to use. If you mix more timer than here, now here you'll find our cream now pressing. Here you'll find our cream won't stabilize if you over mix. But if you just mix on the right side, like this one, you'll find our perfect cream. Yes, and we also if you over mix your cream and you decorate a cake with it, the cream there is possibility, high possibility the the, the, the cream will crack. So over whipping is one of the causes of is one of the causes of uh, cream cracking. So to avoid cracking, one should not over whip. You should not uh, over whip. There are a few reasons why a cake a cake will crack. Mm -hmm. Either you have put a very thin layer, the recommended is four millimeter. That is uh, when you are coating your cake, you have to. Don't put a very thin layer when you are doing the decoration. The other reason why the cream will crack is because maybe probably you have decorated a cake from the chiller direct. Mm -hmm. You should give your cake some time for it to do. Reason is when you when you decorate a already sealed cake, and you know when uh, a dough says uh, when uh, in times of during the doughing. It increases in volume, and if at all you are you have already decorated a dough cake, when it increases in volume, it will expand, meaning the cream will crack because of the expansion. The other reason is uh, you have decorated a very dry. Cake. So what normally happens, the the cake will absorb will absorb the liquid and cream, the moisture content of the cream, mm -hmm. meaning the cream will be left very dry resulting to cracking. Also more cracking reasons are when whipping a very cold cream or whipping a cream on room temperature may also lead to cracking of the cake. Whipping so, cream on room temperature. Yeah, yes. whipping cream on room temperature. This one will one, it will won't stabilize well. Then two, when you use such like cream, it will automatically crack after one day or uh, maybe even after some few hours. The cream will crack. Also, too much cold cream. Remember, we've said that uh, the ideal temperature for this cream mixing eh, is uh, 7 degrees to 10 degrees Celsius. So, if you whip this cream at 2 degrees Celsius, then this one will lead to automatic cracking of the cream. Yes. Yeah. And low volume. So avoid very cold cream. So, the next ste step was to do a decoration from whatever we have. Uh, Whipped. This is a well stabilized cream, you can all see. So we are decorating a red velvet cake. This is forged. This is done from a uh, mix. We also sell the pre mixer. This is a red velvet point done by Christine Forge Mix. It will be available in our shop when the demand is there. We, we also have uh, vanilla as well. So this is done from vanilla food mix and we have mm -hmm. added some olive flavor. So this is an olive point. 
it will also be available from desktop if the demand is there so we are doing the collection with myself good luck so you can give me the last time thank you thank you Yes. We have proved it. We have proved it. We have proved it. Whatever was available here. The claim that we have done half of this, half of this, and it has doubled. The reason that's why maybe the cream is not doubling up, huh? They are using high speed when mixing. We only need to use low speed and uh, medium speed. But when you go to high speed, your cream will stabilize faster and it will lead to low volume formation. Because the cream will, will be faster. It, will, it won't be followed the right procedure of whisking the cream. So avoid high, high, high speed, use low speed until you attain uh, you are required the firmness and uh, you'll get your required volume. Okay, do you use pristine only or you add something else? No, we don't recommend anything to add on pristine because the reason is pristine itself is flavored, it is vanilla flavored and it is sweetened. So you don't have to add anything. What you can only add is a food color. Uh, depending uh, on the color that you want. Adding shape. anything in, in, in terms of mixing or what? Maybe he or she can be clear. Uh, I think what she was uh, intending to ask is whether you need to add anything to the cream to stabilize it. No. no. As we have done it, we haven't added anything. We have okay. just removed the cream from the chill. It already chilled and then we have whipped and we have achieved the stability that is required. So you don't have to add anything. Unless I'm like icing sugar. No. No, it is already sweetened. So you don't have to add any icing sugar. Maybe he or she is asking about the stabilization. The stabilization just follow the right procedures. The cream will stabilize. And anything maybe you may need to add in are the maybe food colors for your uh, color decorations, maybe. But for stabilization it's just okay. Okay, somebody else is saying, like, is he, is he insinuating we are, we are lying about pristine, not farming and voluming? Pristine isn't or? I've said we have proved it is increasing volume, it is doubling. We have proved, and this is what we have proved, that the cream has doubled because we have done halfway, half of the pack. And yeah, that was, uh, okay. Now somebody else is requesting you start again. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. We'll do another half of the other pack. We'll do it. So we need to we need the other pack. Somebody is requesting. We restart.
we have done it. Is this still not firm? <laughs> no, 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 so we are doing uh, uh, the half, the half, the other half. Mm -hmm. You will see how it will stabilize. So we start all over again. Yes. So we are starting all over again. We start with the low speed. Depending on your mixer, that is the low speed. So, yeah. So we are doing it, we are supposed to do it. So at like two minutes on the medium speed. Don't go to it. Do it at medium speed. When using this cream, eh, decorating your cake, make sure that your cake is at least moist. To avoid also the crabbing. As you can see, our red velvet here, you can feel with your touch, it's moist. But when you feel it dry, apply some sugar syrup to soften our cake. It will help the cake like this. Oh, there was when you are, if I told you that done with so many cakes, don't keep them open. Please make sure you cover it so that the cake maintains the moisture. Okay, yes. if you can for some hours in a run. Storage. That is storage. Like now, you cannot leave whatever you have put or to stand for a very long time. So, you need to also cover it and keep it in the fridge. So, make sure you to avoid that. Make sure you cover it and keep it in the fridge. So you are going to read that script. Anasema, yes. uh, you are not addressing the issue with the same issue. The issue? Anasema, you are not addressing the issues with the same issue. Anasema, you are not addressing the issue with the same issue. Anasema, you are not addressing the issue with the same issue. Anasema, you are not addressing the issue with the same issue. What we are doing, we are showcasing how to read the field. And that is what we are, we are doing. We are whipping the field on the field that it is still through the final product, which is a stable whipping field. So, okay, let me leave the main issues here are one, cracking of the cream, then two, not stabilizing. On this issue, uh, there are causes as why it is doing so. Like for cracking, we say that as why your cake out, out cream will lead to the cracking. And uh, on stabilizing, they can't see ya. So, uh, the issue of cracking, uh, as I've said, is caused by later to have uh, the Korea tube cake. Meaning, the case you are not given the case time to go. That is, to keep the most I use. So what normally happens, you keep the case sometimes to go. If you decorate it when it is already chilled, with the cross... Mm -hmm. so you have to complete the okay. 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 
один пойдем. So we have done the other half, and you can see the cream. So the soft cream, the cream is still uh, not running, and we have just done half, half of the pack. So there is a soft peak, very smooth, yes. it has increased in volume, yes. and what is the amount of pristine whipping cream that you have used? I have used half of, half of yes. the half liter. Yes, the half liter. So we had done half, mm -hmm. we have done the other half. So, uh, how, 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 what volume of uh, cake do you, will you say pristine whipping cream a whole liter can cover? So it's supposed to cover four, 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 kg. four kgs of cake. Yes. Okay. Uh, there is someone here. She's called Deno. Uh, he asked, if you don't have a fridge to cool, what else can you use? What normally happens is if you buy uh, like tops up, they normally have the chilled, the, or the chilled cream. Yeah. yeah. So you buy from Doxa an already chilled cream, then you go and use it immediately. And then, when I'm going to now Lisa, in the left is the dark hammer light. This is the dark hammer, this is the dark hammer. We no longer have the other one, the light one. So this is the only cream. From pristine. Yes. So I said, my um, pinile original pristine, I'm a nile matatizo. We don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to. Also, Fever Dan Samuel uh, from Facebook is asking, yes. what's the country of origin for the pristine you are using? I'm using the one from UAE. Mm -hmm. so, so the United Arab Emirates. Yes. We have United Arab Emirates. Yes, United Arab Emirates. Uh, yes, there's another question. Just a moment. So Rakjo uh, is asking, what has changed uh, compared to before? Might something have changed uh, with Christine? Something probably about the recipe or something. No, nothing has changed. Yes, we have proved it. Mm -hmm. We have done the pristine from the We have got it from the chiller. Chill for six weeks. Whatever we're chilling, as you can see, we have done half of it. 
the first batch and half of it, half of the other, mm -hmm. in the second, uh, the second uh, round of recruitment. So nothing has changed. So Rakjo, I hope this answers uh, your question. Nothing has changed about pristine whipping cream. Just that you, as you, as you've seen from the demo, just that you have to follow the procedure is, is recommended. Yes, and actually the procedures are, as you can see, they are, they are on the on the back. So someone has asked about the pricing and why it might have gone up. You know, the, the, the dollar stability. Uh -huh. the, the dollar was fluctuating. Was down for the last few few months, the dollar has been going up. So right now, the dollar has gone down and has been stabilized. So in the next coming two weeks, we'll have a down pricing or up in the next two weeks. In the next two weeks. The next two weeks. Uh, Susan St. James from Facebook is asking, how long will an unused content from the park uh, last under refrigeration? Okay, that's a good, very good question. The reason is, once you, you don't, you have used half of the park, make sure that you, it is well sealed, there is no air getting into the cream, and then you refrigerate it, and then you say within four days. Use it within four days. Yes. Now you can see how you can see how you cut it. You cut it and open here. And open here. You open your clean. That way. And then you pour. After you have you have not seen the whole pack. Then you can receive it. And then you refrigerate it. And you can see the way it is supposed to be. And then you seal it airtight and then you can refrigerate it. Or you can chill it. Any other question? How, how should I handle the thing after traveling with it? It cuddles, it cuddles before using it, a fresh one. So what, what normally is open now? Uh, how long have you carried it? Maybe you are using transport, public transport. How long have you carried it? Maybe you know it's here code when you are using public transport because of the maybe it's not public temperatures. Like now we have been having a very high temperatures in the month of uh, from January up to March. The country, the temperature was actually very high. So you need to make sure that you don't carry it for long. Maybe it is advisable you buy from the nearest vendor. You buy from the nearest stockist of the steel to avoid the cuddling, which is caused by exposing the cream to high temperatures for a very long time. So my advice is buy pristine from your nearest stockist or the nearest whoever is near to you to stock in steel. Mm 
I hope I've answered the question correctly. And it is not me, probably. The uh, from Instagram, there's a question. Uh, someone is asking, uh, Nyaroyo asked, Why is it soft? It's not stiff like other creams when whipped. What normally happens, it depends on the consistency you want. On the consistency? That you want. That, now, we have done the, the soft. If you go beyond this, mm -hmm. to harden. And you don't want it to, to harden. Okay. Because it depends on the consistency that you want. Actually, this is not... It is stable soft, and it is dropped. It's not dropped. So this is the best consistency actually when you are doing because it will give you a smooth surface. So if you go beyond this, you get bubbles. So it is not supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be soft. Okay. Yes. Yeah? Okay. More questions? There is somebody who is asking. We do a demo for the cream which is coming from India. Or I can just. No, we don't have that one now. And it is not going to come. So you can just explain. Can I explain? Yes. Of course. And you will introduce yourself. Yes. So. Uh, no, it's, it's okay. You will be heard. Hi, good morning, Becca. My name is Millicent. I'm from Skybeck Surprise. I'm in the, I'm in, uh, Sky, I work for Skybeck Surprise, Department of Sales. Regarding the cream from India, what had happened, there was a shortage from the shortage, there was a stock out in the UAE where we normally get our cream. So instead of having stock out in the market, we decided to bring cream, uh, whipping cream from India which we did, it was around in December, but uh, now the, that one, it is out of the market, we cannot be able to do the demo for that one, but it is not even going to come again, because it was only a stock out which was there, and we wanted to at least to supply our clients, because we never wanted to tell them that there is going to be a, a decision, it is not going to be there for one month. So that's why we brought in the Indian one, but now we are not going. To, it is not going to be there any longer. We are only going to have pristine from UAE, and that is what currently in the market. Maybe if you go somewhere, maybe you get one packet or two packets of which I doubt that one. It was a no stock, but right, right now we have UAE. And about the prices, the prices uh, we are going to review our prices down one, but now. For you, for the end user to see that you need the impact, it is going to take from one week to two weeks. But I know you from different where you normally get your surprise from, you see the prices will come down. And they are, we have really, really considered you this time, the prices are going to be well, and you're going to see the impact. We thank you so much. Uh, so Jocelyn Kinoti, I hope you've uh, heard. It's not currently in the market, the one from India. Uh, being supplied with the uh, pristine whipping cream from UAE, which is of good quality, and the prices are expected to be dropping very soon. No, we don't sell it. We only sell. We don't sell it. We only sell the cream so just to clarify, there was a question from Sly Gavenya who asked uh, how to stabilize pristine whipping cream to avoid cracks. I know it might have been mentioned, but uh, just for clarity and for how to receive so, uh, it from how, how to whip and stabilize the cream. 
it it starts from the from the chilling point up to the mixing. So you need to chill your cream for six hours, a minimum of six hours, and your cream should be at a temperature of between seven to ten degrees. It should not be lower than that. If it is lower than that, it will take a longer time to stabilize, and mostly when you whip a, a very cold cream, you won't achieve the right bond, and when you rub it, you won't reach the stabilize. So, what you need to do to stabilize your cream, make sure it is well chilled, between temperatures of 7 to 10, and then when you are whipping, make sure you whip it with uh, low speed and medium speed. Don't whip it at high at speed. High speed. Yes. And uh, whipping with that low speed to, to the medium speed, you achieve the right volume, you achieve the right consistency. Any other question? How do I know a genuine from a fake? Buy the genuine one. Um, and you don't, and actually you don't have any fake, any fake, it's tea. They were only from different countries. Yes. We don't have any fake, it's tea. I wish you would decorate 4 kgs of a cake of cake to at least prove to us and also put rosettes on them. And, uh, so we are decorating the cake, right? Yeah. Pardon? Yes. We are already decorating the cake. And this half. Yes. So we are already decorated. So even if you decorated the cake, so you can clarify for So you can see we have done two cakes, one kg of each with half of the pack. The one that we had, we had the whipped first, and then we whipped the second half. So we already have half of the half of the pack, which so, we haven't yet used. So we have used half of whatever we have whipped first. So container that we used in there, empty. So this is half of it, and this is the remaining half. The remaining half. The remaining half. So we are doing the, the two cakes with half of the pack. So when you are doing a, one, a four kgs with a one this one this part when you are doing the four kg I assure you when you whip it well it will decorate okay kg. So half of the pack has been used to decorate two cakes. Two cakes. So that proves that uh, if half of the pack is enough to decorate two kgs then the full pack is enough to decorate for. Yes, and by the way, what we have done, okay. this is a layered cake. We have done layers, so we have so in the middle, cream, two layers of cream at the middle. The same applies to this one. And this is a balance of what the other half. We have not used it. Yet. So the only solution to get a stable pristine whipping cream is to chill at uh, 7 to 10 degrees yes. and to whip it at medium, medium and low, low speed. Low speed and medium. Don't use high speed. Even if you are in a hurry. Because if you use high speed, yes, it will be stabilized very fast, but you won't achieve the, 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 the right desired volume. Of, 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 of the desired volume. The amount of cream. Yes. Any 
another question? Show people your packaging. We compare with the fake one, so to be able to do So I've used whatever was at Toxas from the Achillas. That is what I've equipped. And in case, in case, in case we can come, if you have any query, we can come and do the demo for you. We'll be happy to come at your place and do the demo for you. At your place. We'll do it together with you and do whatever you have. Just, we'll just uh, remind people that we are giving we have a giveaway for the super Okay, and we have giveaways at Top Surf for those who are coming to buy cream at Top Surf. For those who are coming to buy, to buy during the demo. For those who are coming to see our demo, we are giving out a pack. Please have your pack. Thank you. Okay, that's okay. I'm so shocked with you.
So we welcome individuals to visit them so that they can witness the cream in action. Yes, we can. Yes. We can. Yes. Yes. So someone is asking about the light blue pistil. Is there any other part of the pistil that we have? We only had the eagle for once and the big one. It is only the big one. So Seed bites, there is no other pristine whipping cream pack apart from this one. Uh, but in the past, there has been the Indian one which does not exist in the market anymore. That one came in December. That, that came one. in December. Yes. So here is the pristine looking cream in action, uh, being decorated, being used to decorate a cake. Now, look it on the top. It is very important. Which nozzle is that? This is a. Five. Five. So this. One G nozzle that will be used to decorate this cake. So, FS Bakers and Cocktails, if you could please uh, raise your question again so that uh, it's clear, so that you answer or it's addressed. Uh, Dr. Sample, uh, we'd love if you also got a pack. So if you could come to the shop, pass by during the demo, you could get a pack. Uh, it's a good time where someone says that the cream from India is still in circulation. There is something you could say about it. Okay, as I said before, the cream from India, it had come in December. But now, you know, there are those people who bought and they still have it in the market. Those ones who have not been able to maybe the, the stock, they just it look like the other ones, depending with where you go and buy. But in our major and those ones, too, but they don't have the Indian. And in fact, from that time, we have brought more than three containers or four containers from the time we brought the Indian one. So, Whatever it is there, maybe it is the old stock. As I said earlier, yes, it was there, and it is no longer there. Because now, for the stocks for personal shops, I don't know. Those ones I cannot be able to tell. But what I know, it is a duration for three months since we brought that one. But uh, in our head, we don't have anything. And I think in most of the shops, even 
pray and you know much like why they don't have thank you Anyone who is not satisfied, maybe. So the issue is, what what will you say about the procedure uh, on adding color to the TV? If there is any specific procedure or guideline, follow. Yes, yes. Uh, what you normally do, you add colors before your cream is applied. Is on this when you when you are adding colors after. Your cream has already stabilized, it will become, it will become running. So you need to add color before your cream stabilizes, so that you avoid your, your cream becoming running. So you add it while whipping? While whipping, when you are about to achieve the soft pitch. Yes, that is when you add the colors. That is the commander state that we recommend that you add the color. Is there a difference on the reaction uh, between powder whipping cream and gel? Not powder whipping cream. Gel food colors and powder food colors. Yes. Uh, what do we do? Well, we actually, we recommend you use gel mm -hmm. food colors on the whipping cream. We recommend gel. Yes. Is there a specific reason why? When you are using the powder color, it doesn't mix well. Mm -hmm. But when you are using the gel color, it will mix very well and you achieve the color that you want very nice when you are using the gel color. Uh, what are some of the things that one should avoid to avoid either a bitter taste or a runny uh, cream uh, while adding or after adding color? You don't have to. To avoid the bitter taste, we recommend you use gel colors and you don't use a lot of a lot of it to avoid that bitter taste getting into your food. So avoid too much of the color on your cream. Yes, uh, Miss Phil is asking, can you add some water to or oh, not? Yeah. About powder whipping cream. Uh, so, we still uh, perfect do not supply powder whipping cream. Yes, we don't have any powder whipping cream. Yes, this is the uh, pristine but, liquid. But we are working on it, maybe probably. Oh, she has clarified her question. She's asking uh, whether you can add water to powder food color. Would it be recommended to add water to no. powder food color? Because you spoil the consistency of the cream. Oh, you spoil the consistency of the cream. Yes, and probably if you add water to the cream, it will become runny. So the most important thing to note is when you are whipping the cream, make sure it is well chilled, a minimum of six hours, at a normal time between seven and ten degrees. Use low speed and medium speed to whip, mm -hmm. and then don't whip your cream when it is too cold, because it will take it will take a longer time to, to, stabilize. to stabilize or it will turn it will become runny. Then the other thing is make sure when you store the cake that you have already decorated in your cream, don't store it next to the fan in your cream. For those who store their cake in there. The other thing is, if you have unused whipping cream which you have already opened, make sure it is well sealed in a near tight container and then stored well in the fridge. That's the right question for you. Storing the check next to the fan. So, I want to clarify this. Yes. When you are storing your cake, an already decorated cake, don't store it next to the fan in your fridge. Reason is, when the fan is going in your cake, the cake will definitely collapse. Mm -hmm. So that was also one of the causes of cracking of the cake. Uh, Dr. Sample asks, 
how long does each day once open? Uh, you could clarify about so, uh, as I've long... said, once you open the cream and you have not used all of it, make sure you close it tightly and keep it in the fridge at maximum for this. Is honest when you put it in the freeze for more days, and most probably your fridge has other items, the product you absorb other to be in the fridge. So make sure it's in a near tight container. Make sure it is a near tight container and a minimum of four days, a maximum of four days. Maximum of four days. Yes. So, Miss Phil, uh, you've gotten clarity. The cream does not go bad immediately. If you seal it and you put it in the fridge, and it can stay up to four days. Yeah, and when you know that you're not going to use the whole cream, just shake it well, cut a small portion, pour the quantity you want to use. The remaining one, such like a small hole, is very easy for you to seal it well and store it. Actually, Storage is the main factor as to why maybe you are getting so many cause so, so 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 many problems using the our cream. So proper storage will improve your usage of our cream. Yeah, the, the other thing is you have you already have a, a used a used cream which you have already whipped and you are not going to use it for the next. Yeah. So, what you need to do, make sure you also seal it well in a nearby container and refrigerate it. Uh, so, yes. you seal it well, preferably with a clean film? With a clean film, and uh, we're using a plastic container, not use a metallic a metal. container, mm -hmm. and keep it in the small yes. Or melamine? Melamine, yes. Uh, these are melamine uh, mixing bowls that you can get from Top Sub Limited. Uh, we have a uh, aluminium kit and table you can get from tops of also this is may reach 5.5 liter mixer that goes currently goes for 14,500 that you can also get at all our outlets uh, at any time so uh, triple s kickers is asking about the possibility of having half liter pump Okay, for the half liter pack, we are working on that. And the other thing to clarify is when you are whipping the cream, like now when you are using the meat mixer, make sure you don't overfill the bowl. This one is you should not put the cream up to the brim, up to the now. You fill the cream, the already unwhipped cream, on the bowl. So it's preferable to it is use. It's preferable to use 20% of your bowl. Of the bowl. 20% of the bowl. Of the bowl. Yes. Not of the quantity. Not of the, of the bowl. Of the bowl. Such that to give room for doubling up of the cream. Yeah. When you fill your bowl to nearly halfway, actually you'll find it uh, it won't mix well because uh, it will come top up to the brim. But just do 20% of the bowl. It will find a very good working space for this uh, uh, whisking mix to whisk very well and form your cream very well. Okay, Susan Moredi is asking if the cream runs, how can I save it? No, in that one, when it runs, maybe probably we are in the result for. Maybe you can use it to do a layered cake. Probably you put in in between the right? instead of doing a layer. But using the right process, using the right storage, the cream should be done. Or probably if you expose it to a high temperatures, it will obviously run. So Susan is asking, her cream is, has already run. What can she do yeah. to avoid maybe going lost? Or There's a fault in, uh, in in cream whisking. The only thing maybe she can do is uh, maybe you can use the cream on fillings. Then on top, you make sure that uh, you use the right cream on top. But on the fillings inside, eh, the layering your cakes, 
You can use the running clean. It will help you. That's the only way you can use it. Or where can I use it? That's the only way But I assure you, if you use the right procedure from storage up to building, it will never get hard. Just like if you use the proper things, you put the specs and it will not burn it down. Uh, this might be a lesson repetition, but you could clarify about storage the remaining whipping cream to Lily Ambrose. The, the remaining cream, there, there, there are two remaining cream the one which has already been whipped and the one that is unwhipped. Mm -hmm. so, so, if you have unwhipped, from the starting point, you need to make sure that you open it and you are a very small hole. Like this one, maybe you have used the half of it, the other one new. Make sure you seal it very well and keep it back into the fridge. The other one is the whipped one already. You have whipped it and maybe you are going to use it maybe in the next two hours or so. Make sure as well you seal it very well. Don't use a metallic bowl, use a plastic bowl, a plastic bowl or a melamine bowl. Make sure it is well sealed. Maybe probably use a fuel fill and make sure you store it very well in the chiller or the freezer. Your freezer. Okay, DJ is asking why after opening the pack inside is like fermented milk. Okay, once you find your pack, at the, at the starting point, I explain that uh, when you are using the when you want to whip the cream, make sure it is well chilled from the fridge. You remove it. If it is too cold, make sure you give it a rest time. When you want to whip it, shake and you pour it into a into a bowl. But if you find your cream, maybe probably it, it has some some particles. Make sure you don't whip that cream. It is already spoiled. If it is Cardboard, it is already spoiled. Maybe probably it has been exposed to high temperature. So, what we recommend maybe probably you return whatever you have bought or where you have bought it. Because if, if it is cardboard, it is already spoiled. Yeah, because that's uh, essential. Because when you're starting to whip after you've shaken your cream, you have also to observe the physical characteristics of this pristine. The physical characteristic of pristine, it should be liquidy, it should be runny. It should not be like curdled milk or fermented milk. Any time you open it, find it that it has curdled or it has, it is like a fermented milk, huh? that cream is not fit for use. Please just write that complaint and uh, return it where you bought it. Something else to clarify is on don't, never, never. And we say never freeze your cream. Never freeze your cream. Because once you expose your cream to very low temperatures, you spoil the consistency, you spoil the structure, and the possibility is it will never stabilize. So we say again never freeze. For the bakers who maybe want to use the shortest time possible to lower the temperature of this pristine, don't freeze. Uh, 
somebody is asking about the stability, GPS or stability. What are you saying about reliability? I'm saying if you find if you find the cream as garbage, if you don't use it, you will never stick around. Or you turn to the shop where you buy what it is. Lishezuri, no, it does not mean you will be reimbursed, it means that you will be given a new pack which is uh, well sealed and in good condition. Uh, any other question before we go and look into the decoration detail? So Mark uh, Mark Skips asks about how to deal with bubbles. If you keep on stirring your paper, you will encounter some bubbles. This one is you are keeping on manipulating your cream in the paper of the You will encounter some bubbles in your cream. Or if you use high speed to whip your cream, you will encounter some bubbles in your final product. So bubbles are not necessarily harmful to the product. They will not affect the process. Okay, when you have bubbles, there is a reason why you have bubbles. It is either you have used high speed to move your Which is not recommended. Yes. You ought to use yes. uh, low and medium speed. Yes. Or when you have already whipped the cream, don't keep on studying. Don't keep on manipulating your cream. The other thing is to know, you see right now, it is still stable. Yeah. It has uh, stayed here for like five minutes. And it is not water. It is still, it is still stable. Firm. Very firm. Very firm. And you have kept it here for some time. For some time. So it is not water. But avoid keeping it for long because if you keep it for long and you are not using it at high temperatures or at low temperature and you have already whipped it, make sure you don't keep it for long here. Okay? You are not using it. Make sure you cover it and regulate it for later use. Uh, Lily Ambrose, just to clarify, uh, there are no longer two types of uh, pristine in the market. There is only one that exists. Uh, it will be shown, which is from the United Arab Emirates, and it's of uh, good quality. Uh, 